Hi VC, how you doing? Um, so a real quick post, or as quick as I can make it, of um, some VCLT I received in the mail today. I uh, kind of knew it was coming, and um, <clears throat> it was originally supposed to be one album, uh, but a few other things slipped in apparently. Um, kind of knew there were a few extra things coming too, but still, it was. Uh, I, I just, I'm just stunned by what I what what I received in the mail and. Um, I don't quite know what to say. Um, uh, this is from a gentleman who uh, watches the VC videos. Um, he lives, <clears throat> excuse me, he lives in Australia. He doesn't post videos himself, but he he's a he's a watcher. He's a member of the VC by way of watching all of us, you know, get excited about our music. And um, after posting uh, my entry to uh, Ellie's. Um, contest uh ellie uh mr ellie records over in israel um i had held up uh um sort of a non-us record and one of them was a, a beatles record and one of them was magical mystery tour from germany and i i i, I got an email from uh from uh, david over in, in down in australia uh up down in australia uh depending on which direction you're facing is really um and he said that he had a copy of the Australian Magical Mystery Tour, the the Record Club edition. And I said to my, wow, I, I've always wanted that because it has a very different cover. And um, what's cool about it is it has a, a cover that's like a photograph taken from uh, the sequence in the movie of Magical Mystery Tour where they're, where they're recording I Am the Walrus. And so they're not in their costumes, but they're in their their psychedelic clothes, and they're standing in front of the piano that John is playing, and that's the cover of the album. And he said that he had a copy that he'd like to send that to me, and uh, he did. And here it is. I have always wanted one of these ever since I found out about them, uh, maybe ten years ago. That I saw I saw this, and I thought, well, that's probably. A, I think the first time I ever saw a picture of this, I thought it was a bootleg or something, because that's not an original or an official album of any kind. And then I looked into it and it is, this is a kind of a record club uh, edition of magical mystery tour from Australia, only Australia. So yeah, the Beatles magical mystery tour and other splendid hits. So it is, I believe it is the um, pretty much the U S lineup of songs, but it's the you know, Australia's packaging and Australia's pressing of it. What was also very nice I'm going to take it out and show it a little bit here. Um, what was also very nice is that when I, when I took a look at it, in the back was sheet music to the song something, which was just amazing. Take that out and show it. It looks like original Apple sheet music, Apple Core, PTY. I'm not sure what PTY stands for, but this is limited on it. But uh, that's just great. I think I've got one other piece of sheet music from the Beatles from the 60s. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what song it is. It's in a uh, it's in a box someplace with a number of other musical treasures that I've got hidden away. Here's the backside of it. Very cool. It's striped color on the back so you get a great photo on the front and then the striped graphic on the back so yeah it has the ep and then it says plus these other selections hello goodbye strawberry fields penny lane baby or rich man and all you need is love uh apple emi recording control guide settings oh interesting treble bass and what is this Stereo balance. They even give you little con control guides here how to set things up so you hear it. Probably at their optimum audio range. Um, I'll follow the directions. <clears throat> and just a quick look at the uh, label. The, yes, the World Record Club Stereo. Interesting label. Very unique. Um, David, I'm, I'm just, I, I've already went through all my, I'm amazed, I'm amazed, I'm stunned opening it, 
Uh, and I, I'm, so now I'm just sort of in this showing off mode. So I apologize if I'm not being as excited as I was as I was opening it. Um, I want to put this back while it's still one piece. This is just, I, I've always wanted this, and it's in perfect shape. It's just incredible. Um, and I'm one of the people who puts the record outside of the sleeve. I know that there's a lot of discussion about whether or not that should be done, but it is being done. <laughs> oh, I've got to put something back in. Let me do that. If I don't do this now, uh, there's a chance that it would be forgotten, or who knows. 45 cents for this. So, thank you very, very much, David. I really appreciate it. Uh, but his generosity did not end there. Set this carefully right there. Um, three other items. One is I was just I was just um, just knocked out when I when I got this, which is. Parlophone, original, uh, Australian 45 of Day Tripper, and my favorite song of the Beatles, We Can Work It Out. Just unbelievable. I just love it. I saw this and I just went, what? Uh, I've mentioned it a couple of times before that um, We Can Work It Out is my favorite Beatles song. But just so, so generous of you to, to include these. Uh, 45s. Just unbelievable. And they're just in great condition. Unbelievable. Trying to take very good care of these. I don't even want to handle them, but I'm very curious to play them and listen. This one is just in perfect condition. It's like it just got mint, just got pressed. Had to get some dust off there. There is some dead wax information. <clears throat> Nothing, no messages, but still, it's fun to read, fun to look at. Just incredible. Thank you so much. Just carefully put this away. That was an unexpected treat. Careful, careful, careful. That right there, and then <clears throat> another 45, which is just very, very cool. Which is let me get this turned around here, proper presentation. <clears throat> the apple sleeve, beautiful apple sleeve, um, something and come together. Just want to make sure, <laughs> but that's just beautiful. I love these solid centers, the solid center of the apple. Label, just unbelievable. I love that. Unbelievable. I love it. And again, it's just shiny. I, are these from your collection? Did you even play these? Because they're just, you just must have taken incredible care of them, which is great. Uh, they just, they look like they were just pressed. Thank you so much, David. That's just so generous of you. And I'm just, I'm just stunned. I'm just knocked out. <clears throat> by getting all these extras that I wasn't expecting. Um, wow. And then at the bottom, well, underneath the other two items, <clears throat> was, you might recognize this guy. Yeah. It's a mono Sgt. Pepper from Australia. An original from 67 when it first came out. And, um, well... Right, I forgot there was one other little interesting item. Make sure that isn't out there. Um, gosh. <clears throat> Beautifully laminated. When I open it up, it goes crack, 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 which means it hasn't been opened very much, and I'm trying to be very careful with it. I didn't know. I, I opened it up carefully. But look at that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to open it up too much. What's also wonderful is... It came with the original inner sleeve for Australia, which in the UK and the US it was the wavy design, but in Australia it was a striped design, which is just 
really, really interesting, this bag. In great condition. Just phenomenal. I, I think I have seen this on listings before, but I you know, obviously never have held one in my hand. And then the record itself, which is in phenomenal condition. Like I said, mono, Australian, Parlophone, first pressing. I got to check out the, what the matrix numbers would, if there's a stamper number on here, I don't know. Well, it says dash one and dash one. <clears throat> if that dash one means what stamper was used, it's a pretty darn good first pressing. <laughs> but there's uh, the Australian Parlophone label. I just can't believe I have this. It's just unbelievable. Wow. Beautiful. It's in beautiful shape. Just, and it's, again, it's one solid band. There's no banding on it at all. So, wow. Um, I, I, that's, I'm just overwhelmed. I really, really am. I don't know what to say other than thank you so much. So generous of you. I'm going to put this away a little bit later. I also got a very nice note. Uh, <laughs> weighs a ton, going to cost a lot. I don't want to change the word there. In postage, not that I mind saying it, but there might be sensitive ears watching this someday. It says weighs a ton, going to cost a lot in postage. Uh, maybe you could do a video, which I'm doing. Um, picture inside envelope, which I, I won't show. I'll turn it around from a distance, but it's basically a home photo and a picture of uh, him with his uh, David with his sisters. David, it's a great photo. It's great to see put a put a name with a oh also here, I myself and sisters in front of my decaying 150 year old country cottage, and I yeah, well 150 year old. I don't know about that, but. It sure looks like a nice place. It's so nice to put a picture of someone and to share a family photo like this is so nice. It's, I'm just, it's just great. I just think that's fantastic. And I, this will stay with the Sergeant Pepper, I think. And these two will stay together so that I keep this all in one place. David, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I was expecting the Magical Mystery Tour, and then you hinted at some other items, and I thought, well, great, whatever, that's okay. But what I got was just, uh, I'm just I, speechless. I'm terrible at expressing myself <laughs> when it comes to something like this, uh, except thank you so much. Your generosity is overwhelming, and um, I will take very good care of them, and they'll always have a special place in my collection, and more importantly, I will play them, and I will enjoy them, and they will... They will live on my turntable, and I will listen to them. And um, and I'll just uh, I'll take very good care of them. They're in good hands. Thank you very much, David. Take care. Bye bye.